Well, it's been over a year since civil unrest broke out through most of the country after the death of George Floyd. Scores of protests have occurred throughout the country, really the most since the 1960s. But many don't know that the spark that led to the civil rights movement of the 60s was partially lit right here in Oklahoma City. August 19th. 1958. The daughter of legendary Oklahoma civil rights leader and educator Clara Looper leading a hands on history lesson Saturday in downtown Oklahoma City. Everything was colored this and white that. This morning, Marilyn Looper Hildreth and her fellow sit iners starting with a march from Frontline Church down 10th Street to Kaiser's Ice Cream Shop. There, they reenacted that pivotal moment in American civil rights history when Oklahoma City kids staged one of the first sit ins in the nation at the now long gone Cat's Drug Store. It changed all of our lives for the better. And I am so proud that I had that opportunity. If we had not sat down here in Oklahoma City, Young people throughout this country would never have stood up. Although she's gone now, her work is still going on. We are where we are today because of, you know, uh, those young, brave uh, senators that day. Younger civil rights activists honoring Clara Looper, who organized the original event, by helping to put together this event as original protesters were on hand, but this time on the other side of the counter. We didn't know. At the time she was doing what she was doing, what impact that would have not only here in the city, but in the state and in the United States. When you start talking about the value of Clara Lupa, priceless. We knew that she was about education. She knew we knew that she was about civil rights. And so we knew all these things growing up that we, you know, for us she was a she was a hero. And, you know, somebody that we heard about at home, we didn't get to hear about her much in school. We haven't told that story enough in Oklahoma City, so it's no wonder that people nationally don't tell it either. Well, the mayor also saying that we still have a long way to go in the civil rights movement. He did point out to the opening of the new Clara Looper OKC administration building and the downtown post office will soon have her name on it, along with the two, actually it's $25 million civil rights center. It's all slated to be part of the latest MAPS project. The mayor also saying that there soon might be a permanent marker honoring Looper and the sit at the park next to where the original Katz drugstore once stood.